What is, I, I got to give Chris a lot of credit. You know, do we want to go through the rest of the fights first, or do we want to just go we, right there? We can we, do that. I mean, we we can kind of run through them. There wasn't yeah. like a interesting storyline on all of them. Like the first fight, yeah. kind of ugly. There's point a point taken, which was kind of weird too. But um, I thought that was just kind of a sloppy fight. That I was just. It was one of those where you're like, okay, can this just go? Like, this guy can this just speed up? Yeah. Um. Yeah. The Fundora fight w- was cool. Um. Coda was there for a little while. Yeah. Um, Did you? Met- I, I mean, I, I guess the storyline of that was the the stoppage. I thought the stoppage was <laughs> premature, but I, uh, the timing was bad. But the timing was hilarious. <laughs> it's Jorge Coda, so yeah. it's gonna happen. And I were laughing at the timing because Coda has that left hand cocked and he keeps trying to throw it. My dude, was <laughs> you was, laughing too, Carson? No, My dude was holding that. Nah, nah, like, I'm gonna nah, hit you. Nah, yeah. And then he nah, finally, nah, and then he yeah. finally lands it, and the ref's like, all right, that's it. I was like, you waited for him to finally land the shot and then t- stopped it, but I gotta let y'all know, y'all don't hear it on air, but the same way y'all watch me, I watch fights with y'all. I'll be wild. <laughs> and we sit on chairs that's high. I'll be falling yeah. out the chairs and everything. Oh, no. I see my dude. Ho- he was holding the left hand. Yeah, yeah that thing. That was unreal. I've sandwich. never seen that before. I yeah. promise. Like, so, like, Deontay Wilder, you see, like, and he's even done this before where he yep. cocks his right hand. Brazil. But he keeps that right hand cocked. And so he does. And, and so you see it sitting there. Yeah, but that was unreal, man. <laughs> My dude, Cole was. Hey, he was taking shots while yeah, he I was gonna say, was tripping. Wilder usually isn't getting hit while he has that. Right, 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 right. like this, and he's just like, right. <laughs> like I'm gonna get the shot. All right, all right, I'm gonna get the shot. Yeah, uh, I can't yeah. believe y'all see that too. I'll yeah, oh, it was funny. But yeah, Fundora gets him out of there. Nice win. Um, he's fun to watch. He's really yeah. fun to watch. He annoys me. Yeah. Is it the range Sorry. that annoys you, SP? Yeah, and this is and this was my problem, and I'm glad Mikey was there that I could I could vent. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I said I said Mikey, do you? See? I said Mikey, the whole fight he's been up on Coda, punching, you know, trying to rough him up and all that kind of stuff. That's your style, okay? I get it. I said, but now you got to do hurt, and you want to take some steps back to find your range and distance to land the shot from the outside. Why? How are you not smart enough to know that I should do that from the very all beginning? The time. I and literally, yeah. I literally said to Ant, "Oh, now you get range. Yeah, now no. you step back." I can't. Dig, I don't dig that. I'm sorry. It I don't was dig beautiful that. Beautiful when he shot off that four or five punches when at the perfect range. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was like, hey. "Dude, you smothered your punches and we were working on the inside." And then, then you're like, "Hmm. Oh, I yeah. want to finish him now. I'm gonna fight it at the distance." And of course, I'm sitting there watching. I'm thinking to myself, maybe he'll learn from this, and maybe we'll see a different. Um, Fundora in the next fight, so I think he'll learn from that. You you can't not do something on purpose and then rewatch your fight, and see what you did, and then say, uh, you know, it, I'm not gonna fight like that. like it just doesn't make sense. So you know, you know, I'm I'm thinking probably coming next to him, him and Jerry Heard in the phone book. Ooh. I thought the same thing because that's that they fight just to like. Yeah, and that's a good yeah. fight. Yeah, yeah, it is. That's a hell of a fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. I think I think he just needs the. Kind of like we've mentioned with the other young guys, he's—I don't know how old he is off the top of my head, but mm, he just needs to just keep test, yeah, just keep testing himself. Mm-hmm. Like just keep keep fighting guys that are better, yeah. Um, and then eventually you're gonna see what level you're at. Yesterday, obviously, we weren't really gonna see. None of us were like, "Oh, Coda, I don't know, he might get him." Um, <laughs> not, <laughs> not until the fight started, or was, yeah, it was I was drinking the Kool Aid when yeah, it was Coda a better was fight. Some shots, <laughs> yeah, it was a better fight than I think we even mentioned last week. Because yeah. I, I straight up was like, oh, could he? <laughs> yeah. um, the, the Figueroa fight was ugly. That one was tough. Yeah, it was it was, it was ugly. ugly I, and then, yeah, really ugly. Like, I what? get there. I get there's action and we like action, but there's so everything's not good action. Where does Figueroa go from here? He should retire. You know, he, I he, agree. He's a very, very old 31 with that mm-hmm. style. He fight, that style he was fighting in last night was like a caricature of the style that was effective he had years ago as a lightweight. And, did he and, fight like that at lightweight? He did, but but it, this, this, what he was doing last night was like an exaggerated. Uh, yeah, it was ex- very exaggerated. Of yeah. What he used to be. And yeah. and that's a style that can only work when you're the bigger guy. You know, when you it's a style that's a, only really effective when you have some physical advantages like he did over guys at lightweight. Mm-hmm. So then you know, Omar has some tr- problems making weight and then he has to go up to welterweight where he's really not a welterweight and, and really fighting with that style against mm-hmm. guys that are physically stronger than you and bigger is, is yeah. a tall ask. So, yeah. um, 
and his brother's basically yeah. doing the same thing, Fight fighting the in the weight, weight class that yeah, fighting in the weight class that he's much bigger than the, than the rest of the guys and really squeezing into the weight class. I think he's fighting at one thirty five. No, one twenty two. He's, 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 he's oh shoot, you're yeah, right. He's way down there. You're right. He is fighting at one twenty two. And he's yeah, fighting he's, uh, he's, Luke Neary for the WBC title. Yeah, that's not gonna be good. Yeah, I, I think I, I would agree. I think Omar had a good run. Just I think you retire. Like a yeah, good run. It's not there's not a let, let me just say this. There's not any shame in retiring. Like no. It's Thank not you. something okay. like yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not sure if that was like you're retiring, but no, it's not like no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> and then I pulled a hat down too, like yeah, you were like the NFL. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to announce that. No, it's like <laughs> I get when people are like, oh, man, he should just retire. Like, yeah. that can come off as disrespectful sometimes. Yeah. And sometimes it's meant that way. Yeah. I don't think, like, it. your career sometimes just ends. Like, yeah. They always say the, the fighter is the last to know. Yeah. Um, I think that uh, – I do think that he should retire. I think that last night was much, much more than he bargained for. Uh, I was expressing to <clears throat> Sean off air that I, I saw things last night that I've been seeing – for some time, it's almost like he's leaving footprints of him being done, and then he just comes back into those foot those footprints and tries to re reinvent himself. And um, I think that this really was the last one when you when you're bleeding, excuse me, when you're bl- uh, throwing up blood. That's just yeah. not that more than anything is the telltale sign that you should be concerned for your health, not just tonight because I did it, but moving forward. You know, so again, man, we we want to keep these guys safe. We want them to entertain. Um, we want them to be able to, you know, support their, themselves, their families and things like that. We never want to get in the way of anybody's success or what money. they want to do in life, money, anything like that at all. But um, at the same time, we always need to be realistic. And as the saying goes, the fighters are always the last to know, a.k.a. we're always the last ones to want to be realistic. So yeah. I think at this point it takes somebody like being behind them to, you know, exactly. let him know what, what needs to happen. Yeah. It reminds me. It, what you said, you know, the fighters are usually the last ones to know. And it reminds me of a, a quick story I have from three years ago with Brandon Rios when he fought Danny Garcia. Quick and, story, because this ain't about you. No, I know. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm messing with you. I'm, I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. No, but it was, it, it reminds me of Omar Figueroa. Oh, Danny yeah. Was yeah. was getting ready to fight Danny Garcia the next night. And Brandon's speech you know as people that that love that love watching him fight were starting was starting to notice wasn't quite the same mm-hmm. and i i talked to him and i said you know maybe you know what do you think of people worried about your health and thinking about right. retiring and like carson said you know a fighter is a lot of times going to take that as disrespect yeah and he he, he kind of you know he lost some some uh some curse words or whatever and, mm-hmm. and didn't appreciate that mm-hmm. question and i i didn't mind because you know, like a Omar Figueroa, Brandon Rios, part of that, that, you know, never quit attitude is why he's there in the first place. Yeah. Is, yep. is, is the same reason why he'll never walk away or doesn't want to walk away is the same reason why he became a world champion. Right. So, but unfortunately what wound up happening that night, you went on to call out Danny after the fight. Yeah. Danny knocked him out with a one punch shot. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And, uh, never and, he, yeah. and prior to that, he was controlling the fight. Remember? Right. Yeah. Winning some rounds. Yeah. So, but, you know, it's uh, mm-hmm. they, like you said, sometimes they're the last ones to know, especially Omar fought like, like not like Brandon, but they both come forward guys who take a lot of punishment. And so, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I, I don't want to see these guys hurt. And I, I hope uh, Omar, you know, just calls because I don't want him to take it as disrespect. It's, yeah. it's the same reason why you don't want to leave is, is why you were a champion. But uh, mm-hmm. Enough's enough. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy what you saw because I know you did. What you need to do now, hit that subscribe button, hit the like, hit that notification button. Check us out every week, every Tuesday, something new for you right here on the Portaway Podcast.